Hello guys, today we'll be seeing if this savage is really worth that 1.9 million price tag. The weapon systems on this beast is explosive turret and rocket launchers, but is that really worth all the money? You could get a buzzard for cheaper, but it's not really that cheaper and this thing I think is worth the money. It looks super awesome. It's got explosive rounds to cause mayhem and lo around Los Santos. So guys, stick around if you want to see if this vehicle is the right one for you. And yeah, without further ado guys, let's get on with the video. Hello guys, we are now going to be testing the Savage's greatest weapon. We are going to be testing its explosive rounds. So, let's just try it out on the road over here and see how much damage this thing causes to the street. Oh my gosh, I forgot how fun this is. The only other vehicle that has these kind of explosive rounds is the jet, which you can only get a 4 star wanted level to get it, but this you can spend 1.9 million, you can have it as your own vehicle driving around Los Santos, no one's going to be coming after you, except from players if they really are that mean. Oh, it's also got rockets, which did surprise me. Because if it did have rockets, it probably wouldn't be that OP. Because uh, it would still be OP, but not that kind of overpowered. If you know what I mean. So, right now, we're destroying the cops. And this is really good when you're, like, uh, going against helicopters in the air. Because of when I was using the buzzard to go on a one-on-one -on -one against a chopper, like this one, for the police, I couldn't really get the... Um, Choppers of the missiles and the rattling gun was useless. It was absolutely useless because that thing wouldn't even shoot them down. It took me around like a minute to shoot them down. So yeah. But this, the greatest flaw of this thing is it's not that well maneuverable, but nothing's perfect in this game. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys back in the maneuverability challenge. So yeah. Hey guys, we're back. And we're going to be testing how maneuverable this vehicle is, just driving it down the street and then maneuvering it through some trees at the end of this road. So we're going to see how low we can go and how agile this thing can go. My experience of this is probably not going to pass this air challenge because um, it's, not, it's not that maneuverable of what I've experienced. So yeah, we might not even pass this first bit. But I don't know. It really takes a good GTA pilot to keep this under control. But, see, as you can see, guys, this is not that maneuverable. It's pretty hard for me to, like, control it. See? Ooh. So now to the tree test. Really seeing if we can go past these trees. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't like that. I'm surprised it's not smoking yet. And we're dead. So guys, I don't think that was kind of the best test to do it with, but that did prove some aspect of how bad that does handle or maneuver or something like that. So guys, uh, in my opinion, the Savage is really bad at maneuverable. So yeah, and that's it for the maneuverable challenge. And yeah. We're gonna, I'll see you guys at the final challenge. Hello guys. We are back with the final challenge. We're going to be seeing how long we can survive flying over the military base, trying to dodge rockets, trying to take down jets, causing mayhem in the military base before getting shot down. So let's get started with this. You guys can judge if you want this vehicle. Me personally, it's a good vehicle and I would personally have it, but it's not really that maneuverable, which just lets it down. It's 
So right now we're doing quite well. Oh my gosh. Keep going. I'm focusing. Ooh. Turn around, get that tank. I think there's a one shot kill for the tank, man. One shot kill. This is better than I thought. We can't get that tank. Let's try it in first person. Oh no, that's. That makes it worse, guys. Where's that tank going? I can see where the turret's facing. Ah, I got it. Oh, the engine's cutting out on us. So guys, the vehicle has stopped. We are going to get shot to bits out here. Let's see how long we can survive for. Probably like two seconds. Oh jeez. No. So guys, well, the Savage didn't get blown up. We got wasted. The Savage engine cut out. I don't blame it. Being in there, we surpassed at least five minutes in there. We surpassed five minutes in the military base. So guys, thanks for watching the video, until next time.